Playtex supports people of interest. You might not get that one right away, but the joke is that Playtex is a prominent bra manufacturer and bras are said to support breasts. So, it's like people of interest is boobs, you guys. Millennials have been taking a beating in the press lately, especially when it comes to work ethic. Many major news outlets, including most notably the New York Times, have written off the entire generation as slackers who are either too busy checking their social media outlets or just simply doing their jobs poorly because they don't care. While many millennials feel this is an unfair stereotype, new research shows that this theory might actually have more validity than anyone realized. Researchers at the Kinsey Institute have found that a growing number of millennials experience sexual pleasure when performing poorly at their jobs. <laughs> Cats are tachycrophilia, or shirking off, is killing productivity around the world as more and more workers are finding the sexual joy in a job done poorly. Dr. Leslie Friedrich Cohen is a senior fellow at the Kinsey Institute and has devoted much of her time to studying this new phenomenon. Dr. Leslie Friedrich Cohen, welcome. When did you first uh, notice this trend? Let's say about a year ago. <coughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're 
probably never going to finish it. <laughs> but uh, if we had like a preview of something that might be in it. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I've done nothing. But I will tell you this, as someone who shirks off like all the time, <laughs> uh, I guess I can put like my own story about it in there. Like, I don't know. I just, I just don't even want to work. Like, it's, I'm just bored. And it's like, I work for like old bitches. And it's like, how am I going to work with these people? Right. So, I usually walk around the office. Sometimes I'll walk to the other office and watch other people. And like, that's like I'm researching, but I'm not really. Right. But then you are researching. But Technically, yeah. You're, you're sure <laughs> To be honest, like I'm just waiting to get fired. <laughs> is that really the ultimate payoff? To get fired? <laughs> yeah, I mean, is that sort of the climax? That is. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. You just did my research for me. Oh. I just realized that's what I really want in life. To get fired? Yeah. So you think millennials just in general want to be fired? They want to be fired. And that's really going to get them on. Yes. Because, like, the thing about us is, like, you know, like millennials, like, they have so much, like, they're just, they're just overly entitled to everything. So their parents just don't know any better. Right. And, like, social media makes you feel even more entitlement. Wrongfully so, I'll admit it. But it's like, we want to be reprimanded somehow. In like a big way. So, you would, so your argument is that it's almost, you know, sort of the payoff, of like, it's almost like a, a, a domination as an end. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you again! Oh. <laughs> now, how are, how are the, you know, in your research, you must have come across some, some older, uh, of the older generation who are observing these behaviors. Have you, have you, have you, you know, gotten any response from them? You know, I mean, what, what is their general reaction to this? They're uptight about it. <laughs> Do you think that, uh, you know, that maybe they themselves would, would benefit from this? Or? Sure. But I don't know, like, who wants to look at them because they're old. <laughs> sure, uh, you know, some must be Their wives and their husbands. Yeah, that's the piece. Well, okay. How do you feel? You know, uh, there's been a lot of arguments that this is really killing productivity, you know, when it's hurting the economy. What do, you, what do you say to that? I mean, is this is this something that's real? You know, this could become an epidemic. People everywhere start sharing. Sure. The thing is, like, I feel like as a species, we totally miss the whole ball, like the whole thing. Like, we're not supposed to be doing work. Not this much. Right. <laughs> like, back in the day, we needed to do work. We need to like harvest and like make more babies so then they could like harvest food. We don't have to do that anymore. Like we have McDonald's now. Like <laughs> food is there for us all the time. But if the people working at McDonald's are also shirking off. They don't get to shirk off. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be a double standard here. Yeah, it's all about class. So this is sort of the are there any industries where shirking off is the most prevalent? Yes. They have administrative assistants. <coughs> They're always shirking off. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, uh, final question, Ed. I'm going to ask you to be honest. Have you been shirking off this entire year? Honestly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't even know most of the words you said. So this is doing it for you, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, Dr. Leslie Frieder Cohen, thank you. <laughs> Actual support for People of Interest is brought to you by Philly Improv Theater, Philly's home for comedy. In addition to shows every week of the year, FIT offers classes in improv, sketch, and stand-up. For more information, visit phillyimprovtheater.com.